Gosa escorts it over the back line. Oh, Donato's had to be quick. Beautiful hard hit into the circle, wasn't it? Perfectly flat. Just Denoy, probably just Denoyer and uh, Tahir from Pakistan are as good as anybody at getting that nice hard flat hit into the circle. Just shows what a good surface it is too, Richard. The number of goals that we've had. Yes, this is the surface they're going to use in the Olympic Games in Sydney. Or one very similar to it. We hit the post again, nearly. Had a couple of those. I don't actually mean this surface, no. but this brand name surface, yes. You mean they're not going to pull it up and no, take it to Sydney? All right. No, I know <laughs> South Australian people are very, very happy with it. Del May is going to pass on some danger. Denardes are now, are now, yes, that's two. That's two. <laughs> Who would have believed that? <laughs> <laughs> that's Javier now. Already has three. Well, quite, they intercepted the ball coming out of defence. Denares makes the pass. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. He turns he turns the yards out very easily, and that makes it 2-0. There it is on the other angle. The, the Dutch defence is at sixes and sevens. Jackie Brinkman. <laughs> That's about describes their night, I would think. I would have thought uh, Armat was inside the five when he was hit. Yep. But they're the sort of things happen when the night when you're not going well. Amat. Oh, good skills. Sanchez to his left. Now he's in the circle, Sanchez. He's only got to beat four or five. He's done that. Reverse Nick. Oh, would have been goal of the tournament. Unbelievable. The Dutch are just standing around like the spectators. Half of them might as well not be here. Great skills. They're great skills, but not one of them did a reasonable tackle. Have a look. They're all just standing around, reaching. Great play by Amat. And then he had the shot. He probably should have laid it off. He'd already beaten four or five of them. Why lay it <laughs> off? <laughs> He's having young, a great time. Yeah, youngest man on the pitch too at 19. Pablo Amat. One comes from a famous family of hockey players in Spain. Jorge <laughs> now. Dinares. Bain, oh, well, good skills, ankle bone behind the back. Bain, determined. So too is the defence. Usos put the stick down. Denoya. Bain again. Denoya. Was looking for the return ball. Was ready to swoop with the deflection or a full-blooded hit. Just can't make it happen. Five to go, first half. Oh, desperation and, 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 and they need, it needed to be. Just playing with a bit more commitment, Spain, than their opponents. But their tackling has been superb. Quite honestly, their tackling has been just excellent. Brinkman. And just as you say that, that's the first missed tackle of the night by Malgoza onto his foot in a penalty corner. Yeah, Malgoza has been sensational. If they had the ball, they fumbled outside. Malgoza was then forced to lunge and went onto his foot. In fact, he went up into the air. That's what the penalty corner was for. Second penalty corner for the Netherlands, and they'll be certainly looking for this to go in to get them back into the game. Lohman's back on, the big number two. What can he do? Get on target. He's just wide with his first. He's missed it. Oh, no! Denoyer! Well, they made a mess of it. But then Denoyer was there. Pushed to the top of the circle as a fumble. It wasn't trap copy. Then another fumble. But Bromans was good enough to pass it left. And, and Denoyer said, thank you very much. I'm trying to work out what... There's an argument here, but let's watch the replay. Just standing there. It was a very easy goal in the end. But there's been an argument between the players and the umpire about whether it was too high. I couldn't see that. It certainly was a goal. Maybe uh, questioning whether it had been stopped. Well, once it was touched by a Spanish defender, which I think it probably was in the scramble, then it doesn't need to be stopped. So maybe that's what they were arguing about. And Hayesvek back to Delmay. Anyway, 2-1 to Spain and the Netherlands back in it. I'll breathe a sigh of relief about that. 
because in a way it came through through one error against the run of play if you like we must be back onto our quota of a goal every uh, 13 or 14 minutes well there's been three <laughs> yes well, it uh, dried up slightly uh, last night well, what a great game Salah. We fought ten and a half minutes, our ever reliable statisticians tell us. Thank you, Ian. Sometimes the contest uh, is, is so good that the, in a way the goals don't matter. And that, and that was last night's game, Australia Germany. Only two goals scored, but certainly great game. Eichelbow. He's done a bit since he's come on. He's added something, hasn't he? Bain. Eichelbaum denied. Oh, uh, queuing up that time. They look a bit more urgent, the Dutch. And oh, they've got two minutes to get a second. And they're back in the game now. Eichelbaum, I think, has done particularly well. Here he goes. Eichelbaum. Smacked in again by De Neuer. And Eichelbaum set it up, Richard. He's, 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 he's made all the difference since he's come on. He's got hold of the ball. You bring on a young guy with fresh legs. He's not in. He's certainly not. And here it is here. Again, they made an interception. There's the pass. He's clever enough to lay it off and another easy goal to Denoya. Well, won't come any easier. Denoya gets a second. Two in two minutes. Or three. <laughs> just, just brought about by errors in the Spanish defence. And that's the thing. That's the discipline. Here he is again. Tico Van Meer. Aquabol. Good advantage played by the umpire, Lomans. They're under siege, Spain now. Must be expecting another penalty corner, they left Graham Lomans off. Oh, here's a chance. Pretty quick is Pablo Amat. Out comes the goalkeeper. Amat has help. Surely, yes it is. Can you believe that? Can Arnau. you believe that? <laughs> Jorge Arnau and Pablo Amat cooked it up between them. Quite honestly, that was not good goalkeeping. Why the goal... What, watch on the replay. Why the goalkeeper came up, got no idea. He, he must have known that Arnau was there. I mean, he just didn't need to come. He needed to wait. He needed to make the Spanish player shoot from the angle. It was not good goalkeeping. And Anau says thank you very much as he goes to the top of the goal scoring again. He's got five now. Unbelievable. What a great game. What's that average now? 13 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness me. Five goals first half. Love it. Oh. Goes to show the counter-attacking abilities of both these teams. An entertaining first half. These two sides are contested. Lomans is two. Remco Van Beck is 15. He's also looking a bit likely, but he put money on Lomans. Well, that was interesting. It was going for the goalkeeper's left-hand post, as you'll see here. It's been saved on the line by Gonaros, and the ball's gone over the top or over the right. How lucky was that? Brilliant turn from Stefan Bain. Look at him fly. Brinkman. Eichelboom. Danny Bree. Top off Sanchez. Bree leaves it. Lomans up. Sweep it in low and hard. And he can stay there, Bram Lomans, because uh, his skills will be called on again now. Fourth penalty corner. Takes the free hit and he just slides it into the Spanish player's foot. And that's just inattention by the Spanish defence. And certainly the Netherlands have right on top since half time. It's a question of them getting the ball into the net. They've only converted one out of 13 for the tournament. And that time it was Van Beck. Variation. Remco Van Beck. Put a pretty powerful shot on. Brinkman. Bain. Bain. This looks good. 
Van Meer. Brickman, who's there to help him? Out of the corner, and it'll be a third of the half for the Netherlands. And it certainly didn't look like a penalty corner, it looked like two. It looked like two good traps to me. There's one. And he blown a penalty corner. It looked to me like Mel Gozer got it right in the middle of the bat. But the umpire said penalty corner. And of course, there's a lot of appealing going on. Putting pressure on the German umpire. Lomans and Van Beck up again. Oh, can't believe it, can he? Uh, he's lost the radar. Yes, he's certainly done that. That's what confidence can do. Tried to drag it high. He's just sliding off the edge of his stick, the same as the one in the first half. It'll be uh, mighty surprising if uh, Spain can hold them out if uh, the Dutch continue to enjoy this much possession. Van Beck. Reverse stick shot is not a good one from Brinkman. Van Meer. He extracts another penalty corner. Surely sooner rather than later, one is going to bear fruit. Yes, there's no doubt about this. Very good stick skills. Drag the ball there. Pulls back underneath onto the foot. Penalty corner. I don't even think it was particularly the foot he was looking for. It, uh, no. He found one anyway. Lomans or Van Beck? It's Lomans. Oh, structure. Yes, the two Spanish players got in each other's way. One was trying to clear the ball. The other one was facing the wrong way. And you watch here. Lomans doesn't flick it that hard. The goalkeeper makes the save. The ball falls. They should have cleared the ball. But there was an obstruction there. That, no, it was rolling. <laughs> Finally puts one in, but it's not legal. There it is from the goal pair. The ball wasn't stopped. It went underneath. And that's the one that should have gone. It should have been cleared. Brickman. Bain, Van Hayesvek with him. Much more stop-start affair this second half. Well, Spain are just defending. They've got everybody back at defence. They're just closing down the space. They're not tr trying to just hold out. Hold on to this 3-2 win. A long way out from the siren to be holding out. Certainly are. They, they just haven't been able to do anything. Escare and, and uh, the, the other forwards haven't done anything. Look at this last shot at goal. Here's the shot at the top of the circle. You can't quite see, but the deflection went onto the post. And she never got in anyway. Never went in anyway. Another one for Spain, and they're gone. Very important for the Netherlands to at least pull one point out of this match to ease ahead of Germany. <laughs> A bat. There it is. Pablo Amat. Well, as you suggested, Richard, all this pressure absorbed by Spain. They get up the other end and pop one in. How many times have you seen that? You just can't believe it. I reckon there's, there's nine orange shirts in the circle, and the ball goes to the one Spaniard, Amat. 4 2 with five minutes of play remaining. So, Ahmad gets his first goal of the tournament. Wasn't in the starting 11. A young bloke full of running. Look out, here's Escarde. He should be pretty fresh. Escarde. Oh, he gets it! He gets it! He dribbles it in off the reverse side. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Now, maybe not. What's happening here? I can't imagine he's talking to the other umpire. I don't, I don't think it's about to be disallowed. He's going to give a card to somebody. Well, he's got it on the back line here, on his reverse. Everybody thought he'd gone over the goal line, including us. 
He's pulled around. He's kept going. He's got a long reach. He just puts it along the goal line. And somehow, rather, the goalkeeper is not covering the post. It's almost like he just knocked it. Can you believe there was a space between the goalkeeper's cap and the post? 5-2. <laughs> Can you believe it? Ankle bow. Well, Spain have scored 11 goals in their last two games. We should have been betting on these obscure results. We probably would have made a lot of money. Who could pick it? Who would be looking? There's, there's absolutely no form guide here except the Australians. You know, that goal reminds me of... Against the Dutch in, in soccer. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Didn't, everyone thought he was going to do a cross. He's poked one in between the keeper and the post. That's right, the Dutch goalkeeper was standing there watching you go through. <laughs> How many times do you see it? Jackie Brinkman now. Oh, the Netherlands absolutely rocked. Look for all money like they'd at least get a draw, maybe even a win after the pressure they'd mounted. Now, and the free hit's going the other way. Roland Altman's. Yeesh. You want to ask him for an interview? Uh, I've been there. I've been there and been in this situation where all you do is shake your head and you think, "How did this happen?" The attitude. They started off poorly and they've tried to crank themselves up and they've done that. They haven't been able to get the ball in the net. They've got the best penalty stroke, penalty corner flicker in the world by a long way. And what have they had? Eight or ten penalty corners and got one. Ankle bone. The Spanish defence suddenly not making any mistakes at all. To Ooh, there's a card here. He's oh. <laughs> off. That won't uh, impress. Lomans is gone. I think, it's, I think it was a bit unlucky. I think he got a bit of the ball, but he just had to pull his stick back and trip him up. And that just about wraps up the Dutch situation tonight. Everything's gone wrong from the moment they stepped onto the hockey pitch. Eight penalty corners and couldn't convert one. Now their specialist is off for the last, uh, for the remainder of the match. Well, an embarrassing result coming up for the Netherlands here. Brickman allowed to run. gets a card he's got a yellow one he's off as well Denares gets sent to the bench just to even it up for the last two minutes I'm not exactly sure what that was all about but he's got a yellow card of course the bad news about this performance against Holland is the next game they play Australia and will they be fired up <laughs> they will be sitting well into the night talking about this and what they're going to do to Australia because they, that means they have to beat Australia tomorrow night so in one way, this is bad news for Australia, but in another way, it'll be a real test for Australia. Brinkman, Aquabone. Should be a goal. There's enough of them there. Well, they they can't do it. They Could still be. can't do it. And they've got, they've got numbers here. If they care to use them, if they're good enough and smart enough. Amat. Yes, they could set it up with a tee with a one wood from one yard out, and they wouldn't score tonight. They won't be going. <laughs> Honestly, they just could not do it. Bowl. Bain. One day, surely. But not today. Let's <laughs> get The frustration of this type of match. Substitution then. Goalkeeper coming on is uh, Albert uh, Gomez. The phrase has been fantastic, hasn't it? Yes. Best on ground for mine. Raymond Dufresa, they know they're winners. A minute and a half to go and they lead by three goals. Fairly safe, I think. But he might be called on straight away. No, he won't. Herreros getting a touch. They've put on a few subs late in the game. Well, there's no shame when the Olympic gold medalist losing to the Olympic silver medalist, but it's the way in which it's happened. That's right. And, and, 
and there's, there's no shame in their second half except they've conceded a couple of goals. They did everything right in the second half. The shame is really the way they started. That's what a coach will be angry about. They obviously did, they came here not ready to play, some of them. Good skills, Denoya. Denoya. <laughs> Another one. Shot wide, missed a few wide. Breaks away. Denoya, he's done all right tonight. Gets to the top of the circle, lines it up and hits. I don't know whether it's a little deflection, but it certainly went wide. Goal feast at the 19th Champions Trophy continues. Netherlands have had twice as many penetrations over the 25, which are losing 5-2. Maybe just time enough for the Netherlands to get one in. No, there won't be. Well, a quite extraordinary match. Spain led by three goals to two at half time and ended up winning at 5-2 after being under enormous pressure for most of the second half it's a funny game so goals for Spain to Escare, Amat, Sanchez and two to Javier now and two to turn to Neuer for the Dutch and a big win for Spain five goals to two Spain then leap over the top of both Germany and the Netherlands into second place and give their goal difference a bit of a boost with those five goals. Germany, though, could pass them again if they manage to defeat Korea. That's our second match, highlights of which come up shortly. Before that, though, earlier...